So my channel was recently demonetized. Then it was re-monetized. It seems YouTube is cracking down on what they refer to as quote-unquote reuse content. Basically uploading clips without any commentary or doing anything transformative. So I had to jettison a bunch of Bill Maher slash atheist debate clips I uploaded back in the day. And it kind of stung because... That included some clips that I really liked and I know other people really liked too. One that was especially popular is this clip I'm about to play. It features Richard Dawkins going head to head with Fox News's father Jonathan Morris. Let's hope this is quote unquote transformative enough for YouTube. Now via the internet from Rome is a professor of ethics and media at the European University of Rome, father Jonathan Morris, uh, also the author of the soon-to-be-released book, The Promise, God's Purpose and Plan for When Life Hurts. Um, Father Morris, uh, recently the Pope published an encyclical, encyclical about hope, but in which he attacked atheism. Just tell us a little bit more about that first and, and how sure. that relates both to the subject of atheism and to these arguments over the existence of God. Well, let me just say, as I was walking over here to the studio and passing by the window of the Pope, I thought to myself, this is the perfect or nearly perfect thinking man's Pope. And it's great that Richard Dawkins, and it's a pleasure to be talking to you, sir, is living during the same time. Now, I also thought of another thing when I read the encyclical, and that is this. When John Paul II, in March of 2000, came into St. Peter's Basilica, and he made an unbelievable statement. He said, I want to ask forgiveness for the actions of those Christians who have committed evil in the name of religion. Amazing. And then I would say the deputy of doctrine at the time, Cardinal Ratzinger, becomes pope. And he writes this encyclical. And he says, you know what? Christians or religion, true religion, does not have a monopoly does not have a monopoly on fanaticism. And he takes us back to the horrendous, horrendous activities of the, of, the last, of the last century, of the 20th century. And he said, in the name of atheism, in the name of atheism, Hitler, Stalin, Mao committed what uh, unbelievable atrocities, we could say 100 million at least, arbitrary killings of the innocent human beings. We compare that to, for example, the Spanish Inquisition, for which, at least in part, the Pope was asking forgiveness. We could say maybe 5,000 and 10,000 hor horrific acts as well, no doubt, of forcing religion. But the Pope is saying, if religion does not in any way have a monopoly on fanaticism, you and I, Mr. Dawkins, need to stand together. And we need to say terrible things have been done as well in the name of atheism. I think that's the point of bringing in, I would say, of Pope Benedict, the likes of Mr. Dawkins, Christopher Hitchens, and he does it really reaching out to a hand, not to condemn, but to invite okay. for real dialogue. All right, let's get Richard Dawkins' response to that. Terrible things were done by the Spanish Inquisition in the name of religion. Terrible things were done by Hitler, not in the name of atheism. Terrible things were done by Stalin, not in the name of atheism. Stalin happened to be an atheist. Hitler happened to be a Roman Catholic. Neither of them did their terrible deeds, their te terrible deeds in the name of either atheism or religion. They did their terrible deeds in the name of other doctrines. The Spanish Inquisition did its terrible deeds in the name of religion. So, uh, sure, let me respond to that. That's okay, Mike. Let me just say, um, I don't think the people who are watching uh, Professor Dawkins um, really believe you, at least those who are historians. Now, I know you're not a historian, you're a scientist, but you're stepping out of your venue, I would say. Are, are you we telling know me? That. Let, me say, let me say this, Mr. Dawkins, let me just finish real quickly, um, that Hitler and Stalin, what they did, they were trying to create religion-free utopia. And they had a very much a vested interest in not just creating a utopia of secular humanism, but a humanism that is completely void of those who would, who would claim the existence of God. If you'd like to get into that as well, which I know is philosophy and theology, which is not your venue either, I'd be happy to do so. 
It is very different to happen to be an atheist and to do things in the name of atheism. I don't believe that anybody has done terrible disease deeds in the name of atheism. Why would they? What would be the point? Stalin did terrible deeds in the name of a communist utopia. Hitler did terrible deeds in the name of a racist utopia. Dystopia, one should say. Neither of them were representing atheism. Atheism is not responsible for anything that they do. Religion was responsible for what the Spanish Inquisition did, not modern religious people, but religious people at the time. Right. Uh, Father okay, Morris, in, in Rome, yes. stay, stay with us just for a moment. I want to bring in uh, Trish Devine calling from uh, France. Uh, what would you like to say on, on this particular issue, on, on the encyclical issue by the Pope to do with atheism and, and how it plays into this debate? Well, I do think he's speaking up for nonsense. I absolutely agree with Professor Dawkins. Uh, it's not as if atheism itself is actually a movement. You know, atheists don't believe in God the way they don't believe in many other things, like the Loch Ness Monster. But we don't have a name for people who don't believe in the Loch Ness Monster. Um, Stalin indeed was an atheist, but Hitler was a Catholic. And most of the Nazis who carried out those terrible deeds under the National Socialist Program were themselves practicing Christians. I also believe that because Hitler was brought up in a Christian background, this is one of the reasons that he hated Jews so much because this was always part of the church's teaching. So what would, what would you say then, Trish Devine, about, if you like, religion's influence in the world? I think religion can uh, be influential for good, but they can also be very influential for bad. And only today, in today's Observer, we have a story about evangelical Christianity causing uh, people in Nigeria to attack their children as witches. Uh, let's go back to you then, Father Morris in Rome. Uh, sure, Richard Dawkins, sure. uh, not alone in his arguments. <laughs> right, not alone, exactly. You know what's, what's great about uh, Catholic doctrine and Christian doctrine as well, I would say in general, is we can go back and find out what did the founder of Christianity say? And what do the leaders right now of Christianity say about violence in the name of religion? In true religion, and here I don't stand up for all religions, there's plenty of religions I wouldn't want my little sister be in, to be involved in, but in true religion, we can go back and say, what does Jesus Christ say about violence in his name? He was the Prince of Peace. What does the Pope, Pope Benedict XVI, what's in Martin Luther King? And then let me just say, to call Hitler, to call Stalin, practicing Christians, is absolutely ridiculous. You don't wipe out something that you adhere to. It's just not intellectually honest. So, uh, Trish Devine then and, and Richard Dawkins, to build on that point perhaps, uh, are you both in fact uh, tarring all religion, if you like, with the brush of bad religion? I am not. Sorry. Uh, Trish Devine? Oh, well, um, I, I don't go quite as far as Professor Dawkins. I have read his work. Um, I don't tend to think that uh, moderate Christians have been under the wedge. But I do think that there is a polarization in world religion at the moment which is extremely dangerous. It's dangerous both on the Islamic side and dangerous on the evangelical Christian side because anybody who takes a literal reading of the, the, the Bible excuse me, to be accurate um, I think is probably quite dangerous. The, the Bible for instance does say thou shalt not suffer a witch to live and this is one of the things that is currently being quoted at Nigerian mothers. Uh, for instance if a little boy dies in a family a little girl can be accused of being a witch. Okay, let's just get, get Richard Dawkins. I have, no, well. I have no desire to tar uh, religious people with the evils that have been done in the name of religion. It was the father who brought that up. It was the Pope who said that Stalin and Hitler did terrible deeds in the name of, of atheism. I am perfectly happy to say there are very many good Christians, good, good Muslims. I do not wish to tar anybody with the brush of anything. It was the Pope who chose to call... Hitler and Stalin, atheists, atheists, and to say that they did things in the name of atheism. That, is, that was the towering that was done. I was simply responding to that. Okay. Uh, Father Morris, thanks very much indeed, and uh, Trish Devine as well.